As valuable as these forests are in terms of their diversity of species, they're seen as even more valuable in terms of these trees as a commercial commodity for people. As a result, longleaf pine ecosystems have all but disappeared from the southeastern United States. And we go from a forest that looks like this, to this, to this. I'm here in downtown Tallahassee, Florida, which is currently my hometown. Man, it's a lot different though than what it used to be back in 1834. <laughs> you guys can come. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you're good, you're good. It's possible if you really stop and think about it to imagine what it must have been like right where I'm standing in downtown about 200 years ago, back in 1834 when this city was first founded. Just over my shoulder is Cascades Park, a beautiful park in downtown Tallahassee. In fact, I saw my favorite band, Tedeschi Trucks, play right over there not too long ago. But it gets its name because there used to be a big waterfall right over there. Early settlers and Native Americans would sit down, and I can just imagine them sitting by the tumbling waters, listening to the sound of wind flowing through the wire grass and the stately longleaf pines that towered over their heads. They had a chance of seeing things like indigo snakes and gopher tortoises, even Florida panthers, right around here, right where I'm standing. It's crazy to picture that because these days, due to widespread logging in this area of the longleaf pine, there's not a longleaf pine in sight. I don't see a single one. There's literally no longleaf pines anywhere around here right now. It's crazy. But the story's not over because Tallahassee sits in a really unique location. Just 45 minutes from here are some of the best remaining examples of longleaf pine ecosystem anywhere in the world. Right over there, just to our west, is Apalachicola National Forest. It's also down directly south of us. Just north of Tallahassee are some of the best remaining remnant old growth stands of longleaf pine plantation left. So if you live in this area or even the general area, you can still access the ecosystem. And my hope is that by having those protected lands, more and more and more and more of those in the future, that other people who live here and interact with cities like this in the Southeast can fall in love with longleaf pine ecosystems, just like I have. This segment sponsored by Friends of Split Oak Forest. The Split Oak Forest is a public conservation area near Orlando currently being threatened by a proposed toll road. To learn more, visit friendsofsplitoak.org.